Well, the most recent figures we found from the National Cancer Institute, they provide sobering context about cancer rates. Four out of 10 of us will be diagnosed with a disease at some point. So much goes into fighting it. Um, one organization has really dialed in to give cancer survivors support in ways that aren't addressed elsewhere. Yeah, Michael Merritt and Asia Pelser, they're here with that organization this morning. Good it's to nice see to both of you. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Good morning. Yes, and you know, I got a little criticism from Mary. She goes, where's your yellow? I said, it's in my pocket square. She wanted me to wear a big, bright <laughs> well, yellow we wanted, jacket Well, we wanted you to know to, we, we support what you're doing. We do support Thank it. But Thank I don't you. feel bad because you have a tasteful yellow on your <laughs> shirts <laughs> as well, so I, I'm okay. But well, uh, what is a lot of people don't care for yellow, so we do try to accent. Yeah. I like yellow. I do like <laughs> yellow for the record. Yeah. Uh, but what is where Yellow Nebraska? We're a local cancer nonprofit, and as you said, most people know us for our cab ride program. Uh, so we kind of specialize in providing transportation to and from treatment mm -hmm. for our fellow Nebraskans in the fight against cancer. How does the ride program work when someone's diagnosed and they need your help? Um, how do they find you and then go about uh, utilizing those resources? Yeah. So Asia's our VP of programs, I'll let uh -huh. her talk about that. Um, going through like a nurse navigator or a nurse um, at the hospital, they can get uh, information about us um, and then that person can contact the cab uh, basically at any time. It's not something that has to be planned too far ahead of time. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, then they just can't contact the cab company and get mm -hmm. a ride. Yeah, you've been pro providing rides for a while. How many rides ha have you offered? How have you provided? Um, in the year 2015, we um, provided about 1,300, a, a little wow. over, or a little under 1,300. So people are, pa patients are utilizing this. Oh yes, oh, yeah. very much so. And that actually doubled uh, the amount that we had provided since we started. So that's so we awareness. About yeah. Well, and it's too funding that people understand that they want to support what you're doing and they want to be part of some of these fundraisers. So how do you get the money to pay for the rides? So our biggest fundraiser is the Wear Yellow Ride Fun Run and Walk. And so funny that that's why you're here today yes. to talk about this, Michael. <laughs> uh, that is our, our big fundraiser, and that's on Saturday, May 14th. Mm -hmm. We ride out of SAC, or Strategic Air and Space Museum, uh, down in Ashland. Mm -hmm. And we have a multiple uh, routes for people to enjoy. It's a little early mm -hmm. in the season, but uh, we have the Pancake Man, which a lot of people, a lot of our fellow cyclists know, uh, for breakfast. They get access to the museum all day. That's we a have cool a, shot a, with the propeller yeah, behind him. Uh -huh. <laughs> People love the Pancake Man. He's pretty entertaining. We've and, seen him in a lot of school functions as well. Yeah. 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 And then we have a legendary raffle as well. So we raise a lot of money off our, our raffle, the registrations, donations. Mm -hmm. We raffle a bike every year that we actually uh, bring in quite a bit of money off of. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's our main way to support the program. The main source of energy wise, what is the day like? Because if we, you know, Mike mentioned the cancer rates there. We all know someone. I mean, I would challenge you to find a single person who either hasn't been, been diagnosed themselves or doesn't know somebody who's fought cancer. So what is the day like when you've got that, that camaraderie that starts to develop with all of these riders and volunteers? It's pretty amazing. We start at 7 a.m., so it's a little early for some folks. And um, fortunately, we've had great weather, mm -hmm. um, but the energy is just a great positive. I mean, the cycling community is pretty tight in the area, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we really draw from all over Nebraska, Iowa, Kansas, so it's not even just Nebraska or local cyclists, uh, runners and walkers, but we're really getting the region involved. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll show some more information about May 14th, but AJ, I want to talk to you about something because you're conducting this research project, right? So what is it, and, and how are you expanding that? So what we're looking at is um, we really want to be able to represent the entire state of Nebraska. And our programming right now is kind of an urban um, answer mm -hmm. to, a, to the problem of getting people rides to um, their treatment. Um, and so because of that, we really want to understand a little bit better what survivors in the rest of the state need outside of the Omaha, um, Lincoln, Fremont area. We are expanding our program to Lincoln in probably the next year or so, um, but we really want to go all the way across the state. So understanding better what uh, what needs people on the other side of the sea? Other How would you facilitate that? Because they don't have cab companies in some more rural areas. So would you be looking for volunteers or how would you execute it? Possibly the first thing we want to find out if that is really a problem in rural mm -hmm. areas. It's possible that communities band together and that that's just not an issue that they have, but there's maybe a different gap that needs to be filled, mm -hmm. yeah. in which case that's something we could focus on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I like that because it's not where yellow Omaha. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? If Nebraska is in the name of the organization that you start to yeah. look at serving cancer patients exactly. from Scotts Bluff mm -hmm. to Fall City. Yeah. You know? But you are looking toward Lincoln right now. Yeah, we do plan to expand this fall into Lincoln. And I just shared a, something I found this morning with Asia, a rural transportation service that's offering rides for healthcare-based 
uh, needs in and out mm -hmm. of Lincoln for $2 mm -hmm. a ride. Mm -hmm. wow. We can provide a lot of rides at sure. $2 a ride to some of those areas that we may find that, that need it. It's like one less thing for patients to worry about yeah. when you're you're in the yeah. when you're fighting for your life mm -hmm. and then you have to think well how am I going to you know I'm inconveniencing somebody in my family mm -hmm. or a friend asking them to help me get there I don't have the strength to drive I can't do it no um, that but we know that stress has a major impact on right. those it fighting is. cancer and the cost so of it. some of that stress can be a huge help in their in their fight yeah. so if you want to be there for the wear yellow ride fun run and walk so how it like are you walking or you're riding? You've got your choice on Saturday, May 14th at the Strategic Air and Space Museum in Ashland. The website's there. We've got it on the bottom of the screen. and We'll link you back to it from our site as well if you'd rather go that route. Thank you both. Sure, it's good thank to you. See you. Good to see you guys. We yeah. appreciate it. Uh, happy